So guys, today I'm taking you to the countryside. Tag along with me and let's see how it goes. So this is Moya. Moya is in central province. As you can see, that is hay. And these are the large acres of rice. Rice is grown in Moya. Uh, it's grown in water. So, um, water, water, body masses of water. Yeah, so it feeds around 3,300 families. It's the main crop that is grown in this area. Yeah, so as you can see, you can see some rice already which is harvested. Uh, it's packed in these sacks so that any passerby and travelers they can buy. Most people buy shori rice from this place. It's very sweet rice and most common rice. Yeah, so. Here guys, we're already in Moya town. As you can see, this is a place where most people stop by on their way to the eastern province. Uh, this place is called Nice Digital Hotel. I love these sculptures, guys. The sculptures are just on the roadside and they're very attractive. They really attract the customers and the clients and they just feel like going in this place. Nice Digital Hotel. The place to be, by the way, disclaimer, this video is not, uh, it's not sponsored. I just love these uh, sculptures. They really look cute. And, yeah, this is a place where people stop by, have a cup of tea, coffee, buy things as you continue with your journey ahead. Ah, look at this. So nice, beautiful, beautiful sculptures, guys. Wow, what do you think? Comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think about this uh, very, very, very wonderful scenery.
hotel. Uh, as you can see, it's two African. There's a lady there holding, uh, not holding, carrying banana bunch on her head. And there's another one with a pot on her head and holding her feet. Yes, so they also sell pizza. You can see, buy one, get one free. It's a very nice hotel. African theme all the way from outside to entrance and also you see inside. We have fruits also there and some pastries and some fresh juices. As my friend here uh, trying to give a review about and then we continue with our journey. We are at Nice Miller's Hotel. It's a nice one. Most of the people when they are going on the way to Meru or to any funeral or any wedding they say. We stop over here for a cup of tea. Yeah guys, as I told you the hotel is African, it's a side uh, sculpture of a man, just right inside. This is the bar area also, and uh, we have a gazelle sculpture over there, as you can see. Guys, remember, as I told you, if you want to see real animals, I'll link my national park video in the description box. Make sure you go watch it and see real animals. Yeah. So, there you have it. Nice hotel, nice theme. Right, so now we continue with our journey and we are headed to Embu County. That's the county after Moya is Embu. And guys, this is where I come from, Embu, the land of opportunities. So much opportunities, too much opportunities there, you ask me. <laughs> yeah, it's called the Embu County. So that is the level 5 hospital. The hospital is just right on the roadside making it so convenient for patients and anyone can just walk in in case you're not feeling well so yep up we go up we go beautiful scenery guys yeah it's all green so we continue moving 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 so here is another nice hotel, although you don't get to get inside, it's called Isaac Walton Hotel. It's a very, very old hotel. Back in the days, it was the best hotel in Embu County. I don't know whether it's been the best. If you're from Embu County, can they give a review of because Isaac Walton Hotel? Because These I are think 200 it's still not so and this? off. Yeah, so there we have Isaac eh? Walton Hotel. Tattoo, 200. So after there, we yams, yams, stopped yams. by to buy some bananas and I don't know. Uh -huh. and they this one is the best day. 50 shillings. Yeah. 50 one. Shillings. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Many. How many? 50. 50. How many pieces are 50 for? A lot of money. This one is uh, almost, uh, uh, 110. Uh -huh. 100 shillings. Uh, Kenya money. Uh -huh. Okay, this one is now cheaper. This How much is? 50. 50 shillings. Yeah, 50 shillings. So that heap is 50 shillings, eh? Yeah, that one is 50 shillings. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Uh, even okay, if, even if we're gonna, we're gonna take this one when you want to need. Hey. <laughs> So most guys engage themselves in this kind of business of selling uh, Mira and Mekuboka. This is uh, one of the uh, thriving businesses in this area of Embu County and Meru. So guys, we continue with our journey. We are headed now to Meru. Uh, as you can see, this place, the whole of Embu, Meru, it's a very, very uh, rich area. Uh, I mean, it's green. It's green, very, very good area for cash crops, and yeah, it's a very beautiful place. Yeah, so, we're going down, down, down the hill. Most people 
uh, get their stones, building stones from this area. It's kind of a quarry area uh, near the Tarakan. Uh, just after the Tarakanidi Bridge, there is a kind of quarry place. I don't remember the name well. So this is where most guys come for building stones. It's a bit cheaper here and the quality of stone is good. Yeah, so you can see this is a very rich area in so many things. Oi, Aki. So guys, we finally get to our destination and we are in the farmhouse. This is a typical setup in the village where you find chicken, find uh, yeah, lots of chicken around and animals like domestic animals, sheep and cows and yeah our host there was really insisting we have tea in the house but we really didn't want to we wanted to be outside there because even of the fresh air and you know covid things you want to keep social distancing and stuff like that so that is sheep over there as you can see they ship very nice most people in this area rear chicken for sale they sell chicken they also have chicken for meat uh, they keep sheep also for sale or for meat and there is also cow which gives milk so life in the village is so affordable it's so accommodative because most of the items you just get directly from these animals uh, if you want milk milk is gotten from their cows if you want meat if you want to eat chicken you can have chicken just right outside your door if you want bananas if you want maize there's just a big farm behind this uh, cow shed, there's a farm there, and all um, food items can be gotten from the farm. So life in the village is so, 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 so uh, affordable and very uh, cheap to live. Uh, not like Nairobi where you have to like buy everything. So that's me over there. I was so excited choosing the chicken. And it was so much fun, guys. It was so much fun uh, playing in the with this chicken, trying to cut <laughs> them. And, well, <laughs> ah, please don't uh, judge me. I was just having fun. Okay. So at this point, I had to direct my cameraman. He's a new guy. And I had to tell him when to start, where to touch the red button. Yes. And that's why you heard me saying, oh, start, stop. Yeah, so at this point, these cows were so, the, I would say they were so hard on me, especially that brown cow. It was really like, what the hell is this woman doing to me? But I think the, the black one was a little bit uh, friendly to me. But their brown one, oh God, I'm sure if it was let out of that uh, cow shed, it would really kick me off <laughs> yeah but it was all fun playing with the cow also and yeah it was good it was good the black one was a little bit friendly at least uh i wanted it to lick my hand but it didn't, didn't. so so you say something yeah the brown one was too harsh oh my god <laughs> it was too harsh of me but all was well yeah, so thanks guys for watching this video. If you're new, kindly subscribe.